WLSFM presents a total of 30 sportscasts each week. Our next uh, sports report will be heard at 6 p.m. This is WLSFM Chicago. Some people think there's nothing exciting about a hamburger. That may be true at some restaurants, but not at Hackney's, home of the famous Hackney Burger. A Hackney Burger is a giant-sized hamburger served on dark rye with lots of French fries and coleslaw. And for an added treat, you can order those delicious, mouth-watering French fried onion rings. There are three convenient Hackney locations. There's Hackney's on Milwaukee Avenue in suburban Wheeling. There's Hackney's on Lake Avenue near Waukegan Road in Glenview. And Hackney's on Harms Road just south of Lake also in Glenview. Take the entire family out to enjoy a delicious Hackney burger at Hackney's today. Good evening, it's 5.05, and Dow WLSFM presents Theater 5, our first play this afternoon, A Nothing Place. Through desperation. Listen now to the story of a man whose gimmick leads him to a nothing place on Theater 5. <laughs> play will begin in just one moment right after this message. But do you think people listen to radio commercials as much as they do television commercials? Maybe more so. How do you figure that? Well, on television, your tube goes black for a minute just before the commercial comes on. Yeah? That serves as a warning device to millions of people that they have a split second to get out of the room. I never thought of that. In radio, an advertiser can just sort of sneak up on you without any warning. Uh-huh. I mean, you haven't noticed your car radio suddenly fading to black before the commercial, have you? Uh, not recently, no. But can't you still walk out when the radio commercial comes on? Not at 60 miles an hour. Hmm. Okay, but do you think you can really make me pay attention to a radio commercial? I just did. Ooh, listen to radio. No matter if it's a whole winter, spring, or fall. Who listens to radio? Only 150 million people. the engine. Come on, don't rush it. Almost at the back. All right. Pull out. No, not too fast. Give him time to unlock the back and take out the payroll bag. Good. Good. Now, swing a little wide. When this thing goes off, we don't want to get cinched. There. Both high. Now, cut in. Don't panic. I'll be right back. This won't take long. You got him. All right. Get going. Come on, move. What was that? The flames got to the gasoline. Our turn here. Drive slow. Oh, oh, that armored car's a torch. It's blocking the street, but good. You all right? Yeah, sure. Worked out just the way I figured. Wham, bam, and we got a bag with 200,000 beautiful bucks. We did it. We really did it. Sure, because we had a gimmick. Who ever thought of using a thermite bomb on a payroll truck? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody before Harry. And the rest of it's going to work just as smooth. <laughs> Are they still okay, folks? I guess. 
Uh, play duplicate. Sure. Oh, darn. Catch on my purse. Oh, wait a second. I, I got some change somewhere. No, no, no. That's all right. I'm working long shifts. Well, if you want something, just ring this bell, folks. It may take me a little while. <laughs> We're uh, short-handed. Sure, Sonny. Sure. Gee, what a flea bag. But just right for us. A nothing place. You know it. Nobody sees nothing. Nobody cares about nothing. And it's done. Oh, we're in clover. Hey, don't race your engine, baby. Now, we got to watch ourselves, see? Pretty soon we start staring at these crummy four walls and wish we were somewhere else. Spending the dough. Oh, let's look at it, Harry. The money. Later, later. Right now, this ever-loving satchel goes under the bed. We got time. We got lots of it. Oh, tell me, Harry. Tell me again. We sweat it out. We just sit in this nothing place while the cops shake down the stoolies and look for the car and cross-examine a lot of witnesses who can't tell them a thing. Then, when the first heat's off, we grab a bus to Cleveland. Maybe shy. From there, we take a plane to the coast and we sit a little while more. Then we buy a car. Oh, talk to me. This is the part I like. We drive down the coast. Mm. See, Coronada, Ensenada, <laughs> and Mexico mm. City. High, cool, and classy. Dress shops, jewels. Strictly the Ritz all the way. You and me in the lap of luxury. <laughs> I ought to be a songwriter. <laughs> they like you, baby. That's the way Harry likes you. Mm. Mm. Yeah. No smartest thing I ever did. Staking you to a meal. And the rest. Slinging hash. Taking all that lip from wise guys. So as Harry could buy the stuff he needed. A little here, a little there. And make a lovely thermite bomb. Just like the government taught him to in the big bad war. And wham! Like in the movies. A hash sling and, and a rum dumb. dumb. Yeah. Oh, they got their hands, our hands, on a bundle of cash. And then, now, it's a la carte all the way. Yeah. Hey, I feel naked. No lipstick. Open my purse for me. Have a pleasure, madame. <clears throat> That's funny. A lock's frozen. Huh? Let's see. I, I got me a knife somewhere. It's... In the bag, maybe? Maybe. Gee, I should be able to... <laughs> What's it in there? <laughs> Look, I'm the Joker that figures how to knock over an armored car, and I can't even open a five and dime purse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't crack to yourself. <laughs> Listen, let's make like we're living here, huh? I got some goodies for us. Surprise? Yep. Ring for the bellhop or the elevator boy or whatever he is. We'll get us some ice. Because we got booze and crossword puzzles and a deck of cards and all sorts of things. Well, for... Oh, don't that beat all. Problem? A minor league. Top must have been loose. The bottle's empty. Well, listen, that booze didn't get into my lingerie, did it? No, but a couple of my shirts are sure wet. Well, let's hang them up. No. Why bother? So I'll buy some new ones, right? Hey, you ring for the guy? Yeah. Are you nice? Hmm? My purse, remember? Oh, yeah. It ought to be here somewhere. Oh, so I do without makeup. We're not going out social. Oh, baby, I got the jumps, the fever. Let's take a look at it. The payroll, though? What else? Gotta admit, my fingers is itching, too. I want to touch it. I want to feel it. So? You twisted my arm. There. There. It's heavy, all right. Now. What you looking for? The knife, silly. How am I going to open this thing without... Hey, wait a minute. Ain't that a frost? A valise full of payroll dough and they don't even lock it. Well, open it. Kind of scared to. Well, there. Oh, baby. Sucks you, don't it? Right in the old gut. All that dough. Oh, it's really there. Yeah. 
Yeah, and them beautiful pictures, those ever-loving presidents. How much? I'm counting as fast as I can. What's your figure? Bonanza. Bingo jackpot! But we figure 200,000, maybe. The least, huh? Well, it's more. Maybe they had a lot of overtime this week. I don't know. How much? Oh, it's got to be closer to 300. $300,000. One lousy hour, and we're rich. One hour and six months planning. Sorry, folks. What the? Shut the bag. I have. He's killing it. But I got to handle the elevator. Yeah, we're shorthanded, like I say, with the manager not here and all. Everything's kind of piling up on you. Yeah, me. I dig you, Sonny. Now, look. Uh, here's the five spot, see? Hey, thanks. The missus don't feel so good, so maybe we don't go out tonight. You get us some ice, see? And, the booze, uh, Harry. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, uh, here's a ten. Now, dig up a bottle of bourbon, okay? Uh, well... Come uh... on, make with the feet. You take care of us, we take care of you. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's just that the ice machine's broken and uh, we haven't got any liquor license. Sonny, how? I don't care. You don't get slipped a fiber around here often. <laughs> uh, no, sir. We don't. This is a real nothing place. Well, I... Like a... <laughs> What did you say? I said, uh, I'll do what I can. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. What's with you? Suddenly you're pale like. How did he get in? Huh? The door. I locked it from the inside. <laughs> Return to our play in just a moment. We would like you to listen to a commercial on what you can do to help make things a little better in this country. You know how everyone always says, What can I do? I'm just one person. Well, before we get to the commercial, I'd like to give you a little background. A few days ago, all of us around here were discouraged about the way things were going, and I guess that most of us, like most of you, were wondering what one person could do. Well, while we were wondering, one girl who works in this office sat down and wrote a note to a few of the bigwigs. She suggested that we try to write commercials that would get people thinking a little more positively about themselves and about their country. That started the ball rolling. One guy said he'd do the writing, and another guy said he'd get the announcers, and then the bosses all agreed to contact the radio stations to get their help in putting the commercials on the air. And now this thing has really caught on, and there's no telling where it'll stop. And when I look back at how it all began, I realize that it all began with just one person who made an effort. Oh, I'm sorry. I just realized that I don't have any time left for the commercial. I don't care what you say. I walk to the door. I turn the bolt. The door's locked. Then this, this punk, this, this elevator boy walks right in. Now, what, what is he? A magician? Oh, look, you're jumpy. You got it right. Not everybody knocks over a $300,000 payroll every day. Look, maybe you don't lock the door. Listen. Hmm? Maybe the kid's got a pass key. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm getting steamed over nothing. Just the same. This time I make sure. Okay. Now, we make merry till the refreshments arrive. Pass us some gin. You're on. <laughs> what a game. Hey, we can afford a buck a point. Like it was nothing. Oh, I got the cards. Harry. Hmm? It's awful hot in here. Yeah, it is for a fact. I'll, uh, I'll open the window. Good. Hey, better watch out. I might stack your hand. Yeah, well, with our kind of dough... Who needs to cheat? <laughs> hey, what's with this window? I can't make it budge. Harry! There's only 48 cards. You're kidding. Oh, it's not a full deck. Count them yourself. Oh, how did that happen? Mister, I... Hey, hey, you. Come here. Yes, sir? Now, listen, punk. How come you just walk right in? Wait a minute. I didn't see you come in through the door. Is, it, is there another way into this room? No, sir. There's no other way in. 
You said that funny, like. What do you mean? The window, Harry. The window? Oh, oh yeah, the window. <laughs> the way out. <laughs> Kid, can you open it? We need air. The way out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, lady. Anything you say. Right away. Get a hold of yourself. Listen, there's something oddball about this. Hey, what's that? Them sirens. Cops? No, sir. Oh, don't kid me. Sounds like every cruiser in town's headed this way. <laughs> the police seldom come here, sir. But we do have a lot of fires. No. Oh. Harry! I like to play it cool, but why oh, soon as sweat that listen to that? Close the window, kid. Yes, sir. Look. You got a pass key? Yes, sir. I do. I got the manager's key. Oh, well, that explains it. Now, uh, look, what about this manager? The lady and me, we we know this ain't no Waldorf, but we want some service, see? Well, as soon as the manager gets here, You yes, get sir, him I'll right be... up here. Well, he usually doesn't well, do that. Well, this time sir. he will. Now, how about the booze? Well, as soon as I get a minute... You make sir, a minute, back. or five, get uh, me? The booze, sir. ice, couple of chicken sandwiches on rye, plenty of mayonnaise, right? <laughs> yes, sir. As soon as I can, sir. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And maybe uh, there's another thing for you. Get me? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, indeed. We got you. <laughs> for a moment there, I, I almost slipped. Look, we're strung up pretty tight. Those two payroll guards dead. Stop thinking of that. So, what do we do now? Sit and sweat? No. Now I got some paperback for you, kid. I'll work some crossword puzzles. Pretty soon, everything will settle down. I hope so. Here. Here's your books. What's this one? Oh, it's a whodunit. According to the cover, it's a real bloody... Uh, uh, maybe you better read this one. Sex for sale. <laughs> and when I get to the part about the well-stacked broad with plenty of dough, that's me! <laughs> that sure is. Maybe. What's a five-letter word for fear? Um... Dread? D-R-E-A-D. Hey, you ought to work crossword sometime. Oh, for Pete's sake, I broke the point. Uh, you got a, you got a pencil? No. Well, how am I going to work Harry, a puzzle without a pencil? Harry. All right, what's bugging you? The books. I can't read them. My glasses are in my purse. I can't open your purse. My pencil's busted. We got no booze. My knife's gone. The cards aren't a full deck. That, that elevator boy pops out of nowhere. Look, hey, are we going nuts or something? And it's getting hotter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sweltering. Look, grab the money. We're getting out of here. Hey, Pay. Hey, what? The door. I, I, I can't open it. What's going on? Harry, please. It's getting so hot. Chair. I'll bust the window. No, no, somebody will notice. The law will show well, up. Well, it's better than suffocating. Besides, didn't you hear the kid? The police seldom come here. There. At least we got some air. Those lousy, stinking sirens. My throat. I'm parched. I gotta get something to drink. The bathroom. Yeah, sure. Tap water, even. Anything. Oh, it looks good, don't it? Oh, it's warm. I don't care. Here's the glass. Oh, oh, you smashed it. Now what? Here, I'll, I'll cut my hands under the water. You can drink that way. We gotta drink something. Ew. Oh, it's terrible. Oh. oh, no. Oh, my mascara. I got it in my eyes. Use a towel. <laughs> I got a drink. Oh, Harry. There ain't no towels. Jeez, that water. It's all rusty. And it... Say, you look lousy. Your mascara's running all over your face. You got no lipstick. No nothing. It's a nothing place. You got through the door. Thank heaven. I wish you wouldn't use that word here. Well, you, you can get us out of here. <laughs> That's what I came for. 
The manager, Mr. Dredd, is ready to see you, sir. Mr. Dredd? Hey, it's locked again. Yeah. Look, look, open it, will you? It's locked forever, sir. You go this way. Hey! The wall! It's opening! <laughs> yes, ma'am. It's the escalator. Right this way. Yeah, but we don't want to go up in no escalator. All our escalators run down, sir. Just step right through here. Both of you. Well, now, listen, this is crazy. Hey, hey. Hey, where are you? Here! I'm going down! Hey, you! Look, throw this thing down! I want to get back up! Don't bother, sir. It always runs a little faster than you can climb. (laughs) We haven't got a chance! Neither did those two payroll guards you killed. This is all crazy! HCC may someday be as familiar as vitamin D. Actually, it's what vitamin D turns into in the body and apparently is capable of preventing rickets and similar diseases. Assisted by a grant from the NIH National Institute of Arthritis and Metabolic Diseases, scientists at the University of Wisconsin injected vitamin D into hog's blood and later, through biomedical procedures, extracted the new molecule 25-HCC. The active 25-HCC is 40% more effective than vitamin D and holds promise for those whose systems do not respond to vitamin D. For this reason, 25-HCC may ultimately replace vitamin D in the vitamin and food industries. It probably could be used in smaller amounts more effectively and more safely than vitamin D. Scientific research such as the isolation of the supervitamin 25-HCC is supported by the National Institutes of Health. Theater 5 has presented A Nothing Place, written by Frank Thomas and directed by Bill Gately. In the cast, Frank Thomas, Arlene Walker, and Donald Buca. Audio engineer, Neil Pulse. Sound technician, Ed Blaney. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastotsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. We hope you've enjoyed our first play this afternoon and stay tuned now for our second drama, Found Money. This is WLSFM Chicago 94.7.